the importance of everybody having an entrepreneurial mindset and focusing on gigs. Now, when it comes to gigs, the traditional folk in India, especially the, there's still a lot of us who feel the stability of a job is helpful, right? Because you have insurance, you have sure. all this kind of stuff. Why are gigs something that we need to be thinking about moving forward? Because there aren't going to be so many jobs. So, um, sure, look, it was, it's great to have a good job with a good organization. There's some predictability of income. There's stability so you can plan your life. You learn things. You, you know, that's your community, your coworkers. That's your real community. A lot of them become your friends. Uh, that is the thrill of achievement and the, you know, the joy of accomplishing things. All that comes from a, from a job. Mm -hmm. So what's the problem? The problem is there are fewer and fewer jobs and more and more people seeking them. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason for the disappearance of jobs is a variety of factors. First is companies themselves are going through you know, crazy amounts of change. And as they go through change, you know, they shed employees. Right. You know? um, so that happens all the time. And you just pick up today's newspaper and you'll read, you know, the companies all over the world in India, everywhere else, you know, downsizing, shrinking, shedding employment, etc., or ceasing to exist, just folding up and th they don't exist. So that's one factor. Mm -hmm. Automation is driving up productivity. Mm -hmm. And that's just not that can be robots, which are automating physical work, or they can be you know, software agents and AI, which is automating knowledge work. So what it means is that you know, you need fewer and fewer people to, to do the same amount of output. And as a result, there, there are fewer jobs and what jobs there are are a bit unstable. In the sense, you may, you may be there and doing well and your boss thinks well of you, the company thinks well of you, and boom, music stops and you're out on your butt. Mm. So as a result, more and more of us are going to have to figure out how to fend for ourselves. And there is this wonderful book, which is called The Passion Economy. And it says, look, the way to think about uh, the future is to find an intersection between what you love doing, what you're good at, and what somebody is willing to pay for. Mm -hmm. And perhaps you've already discovered that, Arman, I certainly have in the uh, last few years. So we need to find a way to com fi combine these things. Some of us will be brave enough and a few of us will be successful to actually start a business that you know, succeeds, that creates jobs and employment and opportunities for more people. But more and more of us are largely going to end up being self-employed in this fashion, mm -hmm. okay? And I, when I say gigs, I don't necessarily mean food delivery and dunzo and right. these kinds of low-level um, tasks. Um, for instance, uh, somebody who does these podcasts and, and then there's a subscription service that is welded to that. So mm -hmm. suddenly you're able to make some money and support yourself. So it is finding these kinds of ways to make a living have fun, express your talent and interests. That's what we all have to seek. Also, the other reason for entrepreneurship is the world has enormous number of problems right now. I mean, right. I, you just look around you, there are problems locally, there are problems nationally, there are problems globally, mm -hmm. right? The good news is every pro problem is also an opportunity in disguise waiting to be solved. Mm -hmm. So if you have, Lot, lot of plastics in, in the oceans and the and you know the landfills are overflowing well that's also an entrepreneurial opportunity for many 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 people around recyclable materials you know uh, renewable packaging or finding ways to recycle plastics and extract you know oil or whatever out of them and their businesses to be built right. so what you want to do is get millions of more people attacking these problems uh, with an entrepreneurial uh, mind. And that's how these problems are going to get solved, right? So climate change is not just going to be about governments legislating electric vehicles and a few guys building a lot of, um, you know, Tesla building a lot of EVs. Right. Um, and it is also about 
millions of entrepreneurs trying to find opportunity in climate adaptation, okay? So I think it's not just a defensive thing, it's also a, the largest opportunity out there. Subscribe for more of this good stuff. See y'all in the next one.